Great race, really. And, uh, you know, just, I thought it sounded to me like Kyle was loose at the beginning. So they're, I think they made one pretty major adjustment. They lost a little track position there, but it was in an effort to tighten the car up. And it definitely did. It's just they probably lost a little more track position than they, than they would have, have liked. So just trying to watch them get that back. And, you know, the, the restarts were intense. And, and then, you know, that time when Kyle got loose off of two, I mean, you can just tell he's working really hard. Sometimes you don't know how hard these guys are working, how on edge these cars are until something like that happens and reminds you just just uh, how hard they're pushing. But um, yeah, great job to him to, to keep it out of the wall and keep them in the race. Uh, I thought that might be the end of their day. And uh, I didn't know what the damage was on the right rear. Usually even that slight damage has an effect on the performance, but it seemed like the car was bounced right back. And then, uh, you know, it's a total team effort because that last pit stop, I thought that um, yeah, it was a great stop to get him out front. Of course. Still had to battle it out on his restarts, but um, yeah, no, it's was, it was good. My gosh, what, what a nail biter in those last few laps. I was, I was sweating that one. <laughs> you saw Bell really working that outside lane and making some great momentum off the corner, and, and um, you know, just just didn't seem like there was a whole lot Kyle could do other than just stick to his line, and and, and then they made contact. So wasn't even sure when they're coming to the line if it was going to work out that way, but it did. So it was a great day and. Great to you know capture this win, get them to, to Phoenix for the championship. That's that's huge um, for us. At Hendrick, still more work to do. Got to get the 24 in there. Um, rough day for Chase on the owners. So you know we got some work to do there too in the next couple weeks. Okay, we'll open the floor for questions. We're going to start here with Jeff. We'll go to Jeff. I tried to answer as many of your questions right there in my opening first statement. First, we've got to see what happens up Ah, uh, no kidding. You yeah. tell me. I mean, I saw they had, they were up, you know, and they looked strong to start. And then what happened? I don't know. I, I'm, listen, there may be some Cleveland Brown fans in here, so I'm not going to disrespect them. But. <laughs> Jeff, uh, Kyle, you know, all this week won a sprint car championship, did Indy 500 testing, and now wins a key NASCAR playoff race. Is, is there any way to put in perspective what this guy is doing with the, the broader motorsports landscape? Yeah, how do you win your own championship? That's what that's my question. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a great week. You know, I was out there with him in Indy, and and you know, just just like kind of childhood dreams for me, him, his dad. You know, Rick Hendrick. I mean, just you know, being up there in Indy was so special. Um, you know, and, and I, I felt like our teams, all of our teams had confidence coming into this race. I think that, you know, with, with the win earlier in the year, I think this track's been pretty good to us in the fall, the last couple of years as far as speed. So there's a lot of confidence by everybody coming into this weekend. And, um, you know, other than the, the unfortunate failure by the nine, I, I thought the cars, you know, all continued to show speed, you know, throughout the day. But, um, you know, the conditions, the, the, the heat of the track and, and just, um, um, you know, tires and, and, and wear and all those things, track position was just, it was challenging. It was a tough day. So, um, you know, to see them overcome the adversity and some of the challenges and, and, and be able to, to get it to victory lane and, and it'd be a, such a great race right down to the wire. I mean, that's, uh, that's what you want to see in this round of the playoffs going to the championship. Go Justin and Jerry and then John. Uh, Justin Shula kicking the tires. Jeff, you're talking about the resilience of Kyle Larson, but what about the rest of the team? Because obviously you had the tire issues on Saturday and then more tire issues playing other people today. So from your perspective, what's going through your mind with the tire, constant tire issues just being nonstop? And then especially in that third stage, the, the runs are longer. So is that starting to be a concern, seeing Bell close in and having that slight concern? Is it gonna push too hard and have a tire issue there and have that be detrimental? Yeah, I mean, I, I think our guys, from everything I was talking to them about, they were pretty conservative, I, I thought, today. And, and Goodyear kept giving reports back to them that all of our tires that they were looking at, I don't know if they were cutting tires apart, looking at the inside shoulder, but they, they, they kept coming back saying they looked good, looked good. So, um, you know, I, I don't think that's uh, that was too much of a worry. But, of course, you, you'd never know. You might get one tire that just reacts a little bit different. Or, Maybe they pushed really hard, you know, on a restart. I feel like after the first run, I felt like the first run was the one that, that seemed to make everybody the most nervous because the, the speeds were fast. And Larson was out front and, you know, pushing it. So I was a little bit nervous about that. But there at the end, felt pretty good about it. But I, you never know. You know, it just, I, I, I've learned not just being a driver, but especially in this position when I have no control over it, that you don't, you, 
just don't get your hopes up or get you know your, your mind going there until that car crosses the checkered flag and so um yeah it's just great to see him find, you know do that at the end sure jerry jordan kate with stars.net make it a little controversial here so how good is kyle larson and is he a better driver than you are uh <laughs> yes <laughs> I, I'm glad I didn't have to race you. I, I got my butt kicked by one guy, Henry Motorsports, as my teammate. I didn't need to have two of them. So, um, you know, I mean, you, you take a guy like Kyle and, and his capabilities and his talent, and he's impressed me with his work ethic, too. You know, I, I wasn't sure how, you know, how, how he approached, um, you know, the Cup Series and, and especially with Cliff and all the data and all the, the, the homework that Cliff gives him, you know, and the meetings that they have. Uh, Cliff's an intense guy and he brings a lot to the table, so that's a lot of information that you have to, to uh, absorb. Uh, but but he's, he's stepped up to the plate and has, has done everything that, that the organization could possibly ask out of him and, and then some. And um, it's been a great you know, relationship. And, um, you know, th this year it's, it's just all about getting the car and the team and everything to align. They've kind of been up and down, you know, this year, made, made some mistakes earlier in the year, but it seems like in the playoffs, you know, I, I feel like. Um, yeah, they've just been bringing fast race cars and, and stepping up to the plate. I mean, Texas was tough, right, because he was in such a good place and, and you know, that battle with he and Bubba and the result of that. Um, and, and then, you know, what happened in the role where you're like, oh, gosh, is this going to be a repeat of, of the year before? But, um, you know, I, I knew when they got through the role, this round was going to be extremely good for them. They, they just, they run good, really, at all three of these tracks, but especially this one in Holston. We're going to go to the Jonathan, then the Zach, then the Jim, then the Cole. John Field, the racing expert at East Speed Radio Albuquerque. And, you know, looking through the years of being at Hendrick Motorsports uh, and internally, what do you believe Kyle Larson has, you know, brought to the team that, I guess, makes it different from previous years? Well, I, I think, you know, anybody that, that's bringing a high level of, of um, you know, talent and aggressiveness and speed, to match up with the, the people that are building the cars and the people that, you know, it's about having confidence in one another. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll remember the first time I, I met with Cliff Daniels and told him, you know, who uh, who we were looking to be as a new driver. And, and you saw, you know, he lit up. He was excited about that. And, and so um, there's there's certain drivers that, that bring that, um, not not a lot of them, but, um, but, but the ones that do, instantly elevate up the team and and then like i said but you got to follow that up with you got to work hard at it too and, and he's doing both of those things so good combination zach sterning of nascar.com jeff um you, you mentioned earlier how huge this is to get kyle to the championship we're locked in today how, exactly how pivotal is it what uh, hendrick motorsports obviously strives to bring championship caliber equipment to the racetrack every week but what does this allow Cliff and the entire number five team to do that's different um, without the stress of worrying about Homestead or Martinsville. Yeah, I mean it's different now with you know this car versus the old car. The old car, right? We always say, ooh, you know, now you can start thinking about ways you can twist and turn it and you know make it make it a superior car when you go to Phoenix. But this car is way different than that. So um, certainly it allows them to. to take some stress off but, but focus really on on the areas that they just need to focus on to keep the speed coming in the race cars i know cliff and his team and kyle they're they're going to want to go to homestead homestead and dominate there and, and try to win there and and go to martin and do the same you know they, these are not guys that are just going to sit back i think they're also going to be great team players they they the way that our teams are communicating and working together this year and, and just it's been progressing over several years but it's the best i've ever seen it right now and, and you know that's that's what it takes in my opinion to go win a championship in Phoenix is is a, a, a total team effort, total organization effort. And um, you know now that they're locked in, you know it'll be interesting to see how they work with one another to try to get William do you know do everything we can to get William in there, and then uh, try to go battle it out among them in Phoenix. Next to Jim. Jim Jeff. Um, all right, Jim. Wondering. All right, right here. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Um, you look on paper, and Kyle wins both stages, and he leads the most laps. But nothing, it seems, with Kyle comes easy on the track. He does but tend to want to, to when you do hit that the wall and time. nearly <laughs> spin out once or twice. And I was just wondering, is that kind? And his ability to 
overcome those things, is that just something that you guys grown accustomed to and part of what makes him special? Yeah, I mean, you know, the guy knows how to win, clearly. And and I mean I think I think Cliff and he have some some real heart to heart, you know, discussions about some of those instances and on both sides I would say, you know, from from whether it's a strategy call or something uh, misstep on, on pit road uh, or Kyle and, and, and research, but it's more about being able to have the trust in one another where you can have those kind of hard conversations because you just want to get better. You just want everybody to get better and, and they're, they're able to do that. Actually, Kyle welcomes it. I, every time I talk to him, you know, about some of those conversations, he's like, no, I welcome it. I, I, I love the intensity, the passion that, that, that Cliff and the engineers bring and how they, they you know, they want to push me at all times. So that, it's good. So no, I, I don't think you can change that. You know, you don't want to change that in a guy like Kyle. If it's a new up and coming younger driver, you know, and, and you feel like those are conversations that need to be had, then yeah, you, you have them. But I've, I've never had that, had to have that one with Kyle. Okay, we're gonna wrap here with Jeff with Cole. Cole Kusma with the Arizona Republic. Um, Jeff, first off, congrats on the win. And then um, just want to fast forward to Phoenix, um, to the Xfinity side. You have Robert Ruth making the uh, start in the 17 car. Um, I would just love to know what you make of, of him and his driving abilities and what made him a good fit for the organization. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's so, um, uh, you know, cool that it's going to be a Phoenix uh, to have him in the car. I mean, that's the first time I ever met. Raj and his, and his dad was at Phoenix in the garage, maybe like the Arc or Xfinity garage, and um, you know, just 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 meeting him for the first time was like, wow, this this kid seems very professional and and, and very driven and um, well spoken, and I was like, yeah, I look forward to watching his career. And I, I I followed it along the way, and um, you you just never know what a driver is, is getting into as far as equipment. And, and this time we're gonna know, you know, he's gonna be in, in good Hendrick Motorsports equipment. Uh, we gotta make sure we button up some things so we don't, you know, have a, a, an issue like we had at the Roval with, uh, with Boris, but um, we're, we're looking forward to, to give him a, a good race car and a good race team. And I, I think I'd just like to see him go put a solid effort in there and, and, and just, you know, make every lap. I think it's probably gonna be the most important thing first. Well, Jeff, before you get to Phoenix, you know you have Homestead to take care of next week and Marksville the week after that. So good luck and the rest of the class. We'll see you at Phoenix. Yeah, great start and great round for us. We'll keep going. Thank you. Take care.